Gonna prove a nice theorem this time. Suppose that you have a matrix B and it comes from matrix A by adding a multiple of one row of A to another row of A. I claim that the determinants of these two matrices are in fact the same. Okay, so proof. Oh. Let matrix B come from adding R times row I of A to row J of A. So now, what is the, the determinant of B? So now, things are changing in row J. So basically, by definition, you have the summation of, okay, B1, J1, B2, J2, all the way up to BJ. Maybe I don't want to use J. How about we say row K? We have eventually BK, JK, all the way down to BN, JN. A and B are N by N matrices. Now, for the most part, these entries are the same as they are in the A matrix. That is, this is just nothing more than A1, J1. This one is nothing more than A2, J2, all the way down to the case element. Well, that becomes R times row one, row I, excuse me, which is A I J I plus A K J K all the way down to B N J N. Now there's an addition there so we can distribute. We get the summation plus or minus of a1, J1, A2, J2, all the way down to this one, R times AI, JI, and this should be ANJN, all the way down to ANJN plus, plus, a I J A one J one A two J two all the way down to A K J sub K all the way down to A N J N summation distributes. So you get the summation of this, A I J I A J one A one J one A two J two all the way down to R, which I can put all the way in the front, A I J I all the way down to A N J N. We get this summation plus the summation of this. 
summation plus minus a1 j1 a2 j2 all the way down to a k j k all the way down to a and j n now remember matrix b comes from adding r times row i to row k of a that is one of these one of these notice i skipped this one one of those are ai so basically we have r times the summation of plus minus a1 j1 a2 j2 eventually a i j i eventually this a i j i all the way down to a n j n and if it turns out so i'm claiming that this one is that one that is this one came first well i could be mistaken maybe this one came first well there's the other one plus well this here is just the determinant of a now here's what's going on this here is zero because we showed before that if a matrix has two rows that are exactly the same the determinant is zero so we have r times zero plus the determinant of a and that gives you the determinant of a and that completes this proof okay all i did was distribute that addition that is it's this times this times this all the way times that plus this again times this again times this times eventually a n j n and that's what i wrote in this line here and then i argued that this is a determinant and two rows oops down here two rows are exactly the same that means that determinant is zero r times zero is zero so i ended up with the determinant of a if you just love theorems like this or seeing the proof for theorems like this this is your channel subscribe to it this is all i do on this channel is i prove theorems tell your friends about it tell your teachers about it tell your enemies about it tell everyone about this website and you yourself should subscribe Leave a comment if you like. Most of all, watch and learn. See you in the next video.